Welcome everyone, welcome to Fit Appeal as Studios. Uh, my name is Coach Tanya, I'm the owner of the studio here. We are going to do abs today. So, uh, first thing we're going to start with is pulling in our transverse abdominis. So this is uh, some old school body building, uh, body building. or uh, it's also yoga, uh, doing our, our um, Udyanda Manda. So we're gonna pull in the belly here. All right, so I'm going to show you what my belly looks like. Yeah, so here's my belly. So I want you to see what's happening here. See if I can do it on my knees. I'm used to doing it on my feet. We'll see if I can do it on my knees. Okay, big breath. Blow out all the air. Pull in. So the reason why we're doing this is so that we can activate our, um, it's kind of like a preparation for doing our abdominals, doing our stomach vacuum. All right. Okay, we go again, big breath. Blow all the air out. Pull in. Take three more. Big breath. Blow out all the air. Pull in. Two more. Big breath. Blow out. In. Last one. Big breath. Blow out. All in. All right, very nice. So I feel like I've activated my transverse abdominus. This is the layer underneath our rectus abdominis. Rectus abdominis is the one that you can see, but you cannot see it unless you burn the fat off of that uh, on top of it. So just remind yourself that. That you can do abs all day, but if you're not going to change the way that you eat, um, <laughs> you'll never see the, the definition, right? But we always said uh, back when I was competing is uh, that the abs are made in the in the kitchen, which is so true. You got to go watch what you're putting in and make sure that you're uh, doing uh, burning the fat off, right? That's the intention. All right. So we're going to start with our feet on the earth. You can go ahead and feel how you're pulled a little bit more uh, or activated more already within your within your belly, right? Within your abdominals. So we're just gonna start with easy stuff. We'll start with a nice floor crunch first. So we let the hands catch behind the neck, big breath. Try to keep the belly button in. We're gonna come up about 15 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Going into twist, cross the right leg on top. You can leave both hands behind the head or release one elbow to knee. Big breath. Twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Change legs here. Big breath. Elbow to knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 5 more, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, hands underneath the hips, or you can stay interlaced with the chest lifted, it's not head, it's chest lifting, right? I'm going to go underneath the hips, straight legs up and down, hover, big breath, exhale, release, and in, inhale, Exhale in two, down, three, try to hollow out the belly, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, we'll try five more. Five, four, three, two, last one, and one. Okay. Balancing on our hips. We're just gonna tap the floor with the hands, right? Twisting. So we'll hold just kind of a bent leg. They don't have to be together. They can be uh, wherever you want. Don't try not to cross them though. All right, big breath. Tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna take a little twist here. So here in this twist, I have my side body here, and I can take a little bit of, of oblique crunch as well. Yeah, so we're trying to move into our side body, elbow to hip this time. Big breath. We come up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, five, four, three, two, one. All right, we twist. Other side. So now I've opened up my right side body. I can take fifteen on this side. Hands catch the neck. Elbow to hip. Big breath. We come up. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one. Back the knees into the belly here. All right, so we have some bicycles that we will move through. Hands catch the neck. So it's still an opposite elbow to knee. But now we're gonna have a leg reaching out. Big breath. And twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, last five, four, three, two, one. Knees back into the belly. Okay, same with our obliques. So we have a windshield wiper. So just like uh, you would see in a car, going side to side, the legs are gonna be the windshield wipers going side to side. All right, so we need a little help with our top uh, body so it don't fall over to one side when the legs move. So we're gonna have a couple of anchors here, arms extended out from the shoulders, palms flat to the earth. So from here, big breath, and we move our legs to the right. So you choose it halfway down or inches from the floor, pull back, two, we'll try to keep the shoulders grounded. 
three. Might feel your back. Get a little adjustment. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Knees back into the belly. Okay. So now we're going to move into a bit of planking. Catch behind the knees. Rock yourself up. Okay. So we got high plank on the hands and we also have low plank on uh, the elbows. Right. So we're going to start with uh, elbows and tapping our hips. So we're going to keep uh, some twisting movement, right? So our upper body is going to be anchored and our hips, our legs are going to be doing the twisting for us. So we get in, interlace the fingers, and I have enough space in between my feet. So when I drop side to side, I'm just going to take the inner edge of one foot and the outer edge of the other, and then let my hips come all the way down. And then I take a big circle up and over to the other side. All right, you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come to center, plant the hands, little stretch to the belly, take a little cobra pose. I feel that today. I think I'm a little sore. <laughs> That's what it feels like at least. Okay. So we take down dog to plank. So this uh, sounds like yoga. It is to a degree. So the plank we're going to hold. We're going to hold for count of five. And we'll take a few of those and see what it feels like. So we take our plank pose, which is hands underneath the shoulders, to know where our downward facing dog is. You shouldn't have to play footsies or handsies to get in between one or the other. So forward we go, plank, pull the belly up to the spine, hold here, five, four, three, two, one, send this back, all right, getting ready to go again, pull the belly in, forward, hold, five, four, three, two, one, send back. Take about three more of those. Forward and hold. Pull the belly up to the spine. Five, four, three, two, one, and back. Two more. Forward to plank hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and back. Last one. Forward to plank. Hold, five, four, three, two, one, and back. We bring this back down to the knees and all the way down to our hips. Okay, so there's something called a V-up. So there's a, a harder version and a somewhere in between version. So we're gonna take the somewhere in between version, which is hands behind. So we're gonna take the V up here, right? As opposed to here, and down. Obviously that's a lot harder, but you can choose your poison. If you wanna go that route, go right ahead. All right, so exhale on the, the coming together. So we take breath here, and we come in two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm gonna take a moment here, rock a little bit. Okay, so let's see. We've done floor crunches, reverse crunches, we've done bicycles, obliques, uh, twisting. We have done windshield wipers, um, V-sit twist taps, we've done our V-ups, 
We've done uh, hip twists. We've done down dog to plank holds. So uh, I think that's good for today. <laughs> we'll call it a, a, a beginning practice, so to speak. Of course, you can take this all the way through again, um, twice through. Um, it'll take you somewhere around 30 minutes or so to finish it all. And uh, that's going to be some good abs for you. <laughs> so anyway, I hope uh, this ab workout serves you in uh, some way. Until next time, keep moving, keep breathing, take care of your bodies. We only have one. Uh, we should always be supportive of our bodies, our health, our mind as well. Until next time, uh, <laughs> be good.